malefactor of our first collapse is at our doorstep. Once thought to be a force known as the darkness, the witness revealed itself to be an entity that instead wields the darkness against us. It spoke through our ghosts and offered us salvation if we submitted to it. We refused. Though we do not know its true intentions, we can only assume it seeks to finish what it started during our collapse. Our resolve was tested when Sabathune, Hive Goddess of Trickery, disguised herself as one of our foremost guardians, Osiris. She gained access to our secrets, but in turn, Osiris gained access to hers. Sabathune had rebelled against the Witness and hid what might be our only chance of defeating it away on the planet Neptune. Now, former Cabal Emperor Callus and his loyalist warships have joined the Witness's advance on Earth. But we found an unexpected ally in Callus' daughter, Empress Keitel, and Mithrax, the elixir leader of the House of Light. Together, we have united against our common enemy. In an unprecedented move, the Traveler left Earth to confront the Witness head-on. This conflict was set in motion long before we existed, but we will bring it to an end, one way or another. Vanguard to all units. Keep the enemy away from the Traveler. At all cost. to engage the enemy. We don't have a choice. We're out of time. Osiris. Don't die. Welcome to New 
Fast. We don't like to waste time. Well, good. There isn't a moment to lose. We regroup at the Watchtower. You don't understand. We've got to get to the Vale. I understand what's at stake, like Bear. Far better than you. Not all of us have lives to spare. familiar. 
Only much stronger this time. I feel sick. Like I shouldn't be here. We're in this together. Osiris and Nimbus need to hear about this. Don't be fooled by his act. The callous you face is no almighty emperor, but something far more dangerous. A hungry, desperate beast. Once the Cabal Empire and all its bounty was his to command and his to consume. Joy was his purpose and his strength, he said. To angst over edicts and enemies was weakness. But I could see in his eyes dread that his pleasures would soon come to an end, clouding his sight from an incoming coup. I should have killed him then, but I thought exile more fitting. I thought he'd shrivel to nothing in the void of space. Instead, he caught a glimpse of something more. The chance to become greater than he'd ever been. Like a war beast after a blood set, he chased that chance, abandoning all honor, reason. There was nothing he would not sacrifice for his own salvation. And when the witness came to him at last, Callus faced what he had run from all along. If we don't stop him, he'll make sure it's the end for us all. A paracausal superposition? Like magnetic poles. You've been busy. Well? For so long, we saw Dark and Light as antagonists. We believed we were the champions of the good because we wielded the Light. If these are not moral forces, if they are not opposites, what are they? At its root, the Traveler is a terraformer, a, a gardener. It generates Natural life, physical transformation at a molecular scale across whole planets. This should have been our first hint. The domain of the light is the domain of the physical. The darkness then is revealed in many facets. Dreams and nightmares, emotions, pain, memory. The nature of Strand confirms this line of thinking. Darkness is something entirely apart from light. A paracausal union, conjoining intangible conscious realities, discursive linking to- You're talking about the River of Souls. River? Yeah, it's a story we tell kids on Neptune. A nursery rhyme. Sort of. Since before history, there's been this raging river. In the story, some try to divert the river. Others try to build a dam. But nothing stops it. Lots of people have believed that we either sink in the water or learn to swim. Don't we? See, that's the real wild part. We are the river. And empowered by it, it would seem. You know, I think I know of a place where we can find some of that power. This attraction. Sagira, could you run some scans? Oh. Right. Am I interrupting? Rohan, 
I have been pondering the veil's paracausal effects on ghosts. I know I haven't been the easiest guest in your city. Pain is not a hindrance. It simply reminds us we're still breathing. Still fighting. defense is now operational. I'm full of fury, she's got an army, and you got magic green strings. Let's crush this Callus guy. We aren't ready for Callus. We don't even understand this erratic power at a foundational level. It's time we figure it out. Keitel, we'll need your troops. Nimbus, charge up as many of the remaining turrets as you can, while Osiris helps me to untangle this strand. When we think about controlling something powerful, it's easy to assume it takes strength. Determination. A force of will. But what I've learned is that we cannot control every facet of nature. Instead of tightening our grip, we must open our palms, accepting the ebb and the flow. Letting go in the face of grief in all its shapes. Through failure, through loss, we can overcome the impossible.
No more running away. Rest now. The uglier they are, the harder they fall, right? No? We finally found you. Get your coat. What's wrong, Osiris? Get your coat out of there! Finality takes shape. It's creating the link! Today, we honor Relentless Rohan, his service, his sacrifice. More than a protector of Neomuna, he was a true cloud strider. He cut his years short so that the whole of humanity may thrive far into the future. Today, we suffer so tomorrow can live on. <laughs> 